The 24-year-old centre-back, who has featured in three games at this winter's World Cup, could be seen wearing the chain throughout the first half of Sunday's clash at the Al Thumama Stadium. Finally, in the 41st minute, referee Jesus Valenzuela instructed Kaun to take off the necklace and soon, a member of France's backroom staff called the Barcelona man over to remove it. So is it allowed? The IFAB Laws of the Game Handbook clearly states that a player must not use equipment or wear anything that is dangerous under the section of safety, it states, all items of jewelry, necklaces, rings, bracelets, earrings, leather bands, rubber bands, etc., are forbidden and must be removed. Using tape to cover jewelry is not permitted. The players must be inspected before the start of the match and substitutes before they enter the field of play. If a player is wearing or using unauthorized slash dangerous equipment or jewelry, the referee must order the player to remove the item. Leave the field of play at the next stoppage if the player is unable or unwilling to comply. A player who refuses to comply or wears the item again must be cautioned. Shortly after his chain was spotted on TV coverage, plenty of fans flooded to social media to react, the big question is this. How did it take 40 minutes for officials to spot Count's chain? After all, everybody at home managed to get a glimpse, not long after that strange incident and Olivier Giroud opened the scoring for reigning world champions France. Didier Deschamps warned his team of Poland's threat ahead of kickoff, saying, This team, Poland, has had to defend in the first three games, defend a lot, and they defend very well. They love it. Replacement, a body by saving